In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make your presentation more interesting using morph transition effects. And this is how uh, it looks. As you can see here, I have added one image, a family image, and then I have added some uh, family movements. Then I have used some uh, pink color background. And when I click, it will move to the other side and then it will show you the image on the left side. And then you can change the text to beautiful movements again when i click it will show a different image you can see a beach time uh, with friend like that and this you can make it fully automated on without using the mouse click also and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to support my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and i'm going to cover this slide with a rectangle for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle and cover the whole slide shape outline make it no outline and then i'm going to insert some image from the internet or from your local pc for that right mouse click go to the format shape i'm going to fill and from the picture or texture fill i'm just going to click it here so by default this image which i have used before it is inserted so i'm going to change this image to insert some family image so click on insert online pictures and you can just say some family vacation or family get together or whatever for example i'm just going to type family vacation and then i'm just going to choose any uh, slide okay so maybe i can choose some uh, nice slide let me just choose this one uh, maybe it's a copyright image but only for this reason uh, just to show that one i'm choosing otherwise it's better not to choose uh, any personal images anyway so let me just choose this image so you can see here i have inserted this image and here because before i have used this offset settings so i have to make this all to zero okay you can see here i'm going to make it zero just make sure that it is already zero if it is zero then no need to do anything now what i'm going to do is i'm going to zoom out you can see here i'm going to zoom out and then maybe this size the the photo i'm going to make it somewhat transparent so exactly we know uh, where the slides end and all those things so i'm going to add one more rectangle shape okay now the rectangle shape i'm going to add is very big okay so let me just use more bigger than the slide size you can see here because why i will tell you that one so shape outline make it no outline and you can just choose any good color here or you can choose any uh, uh, image also or some uh, gradient fill also whatever so let me just send this to back now what i'm going to do is you know i'm just going to make four or five rectangles here or squares or uh, circles it's up to you so let me just make it some uh, rectangles here you can see here some let me just fit to the slide here i'm going to add some rectangles shape outline make it no outline Control d to duplicate and i'm going to increase the size let me just move a little bit up and again Control d this time i'm going to reduce it further all right and Control d one more i'm going to make it here any size any shape you can make it that's not a problem all right done so now let me just zoom out again so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this shape and i'm going to cut this four part from this one all right so let me just select this uh, big rectangle hold the shift key select the small rectangles go to the shape format merge shape and say subtract all right let me just make it now zero transparent now bring it to front now you can see here when i'm moving my uh, slide this particular rectangle box is just showing this particular image only the rest is because the, if you make it small then what will happen is it will go up like that okay so that's the reason i've made it very big so the first slide which i'm going to keep it here okay now i'm going to duplicate the slide duplicate the slide and move it where we can see the image of the the faces of the family okay here right now this particular slide number nine or the second slide you need to go to the transition click on the morph 
okay and duration i'm going to make it as one and then you can insert some text also i'll just say family moments okay maybe write a line i'm going to choose the find what oh, sorry white font and then i'm going to use the open sans extra bold font and i'm going to increase it okay you can see here control c you can go to the first slide you can put it here something and you can just change this one example i'll just say vacation pics example okay and here what you can do is when you go to the transition under the morph you can make it to character also we can see here it becomes like this character again it becomes duration to two so again i have to make it one all right so now let's see how it looks when i click see vacation pics okay the family movements i cannot read that one so what i have to do is i have to reduce the size or it has to come in or i can just bring it here also so let me just play now again so vacation pics and it comes like this you can see here all right so this is my second slide now i'm going to duplicate this slide and here i'm going to change the image altogether so let me just go and give some different image now again i'm going to say uh, family vacation and i will just choose any other image maybe this image click on insert you can see here and then i'm going to change this color you can just is better to change colors okay for this one i'm going to choose maybe some other color purple and all those things okay and here i'm just going to move away from here you can see here like this and duplicate slide i'll move the text somewhere here and then i will reveal the the faces here and then i will put it here and you can just change your text any text here okay you can just put any text so let me just see how it comes now my vacation pics family moments you can see here and it comes here the text and again make sure that this is all fast okay and then i'm going to select these three slides when you're doing the morph you should not select the first okay remember that one only from the second slide onwards till the slide which you want to do the morph and here you can remove the mouse click and i can just say after maybe one second so now if i just click it will happen automatically i'm not clicking here you can see here it's coming like this okay so depending on the requirement you can add as many images as you want different shapes you can use it uh, to make it more uh, engaging and more uh, creative